hard to see it. It's hard to see it, but look at that. Look at that hair that came off just from that. Hi everyone, welcome back. I have another skincare routine video for you today and I am going to be dermaplaning. This one's gonna be a little bit different because I've done some dermaplaning videos before, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to also show you a full Notorium skincare routine and what I would be using after a dermaplaning session. So let's get started. All right, the last time I posted a dermaplaning skincare routine, there were some comments where people were up in arms about me calling this dermaplaning when it's not technically dermaplaning. If you're not familiar with dermaplaning, it's usually done in office. It's done by either an esthetician or a registered nurse or a PA or even a dermatologist, usually with a professional. And the reason for that is they use a scalpel to really exfoliate your skin and get rid of that top layer of skin and your vellus hair, which is your peach fuzz. So obviously you're gonna get this really really deep exfoliation. When you do it at home, it's still technically dermaplaning, but it's less intense and a lot of people want to refer to it by its real name and that is shaving. But what do you get when you're shaving your face? You're still getting a lot of the same benefits. You get rid of all that vellus hair, which is the peach fuzz, like I said, and you're exfoliating those dead skin cells. It's just not as deep as an exfoliation. Nothing can ever be what you get done in office, but dermaplaning at home or shaving your face at home absolutely has its benefits. So the skincare routine I'm gonna show you today is one that I only do like once a month max. Sometimes I feel like I push this out like every two to three months. So I don't do this very often, but you can do it about like every three to four weeks. All right, so one of the first steps that's really important here is you have to have clean, dry skin. I already washed my face with our Naturium Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil and then our Niacinamide Cleansing Gelée. These are both really gentle. I feel like they really nourish your skin. They don't strip your skin. So I wanted to go in with something like this first. And then the next step is actually a tip that I got from Dr. Sam Ellis because she posted a dermaplaning video. She preps her skin ahead of time with an exfoliating toner, which I've never considered. She said you can use alcohol too, but she you know, brought up that like it makes people nervous because it's gonna dry out their skin, whatever. I don't use alcohol on my face, but I understand the usage of that, especially because this is something that you're gonna be doing only like once a month max, like I was saying. So I always feel like, you know, whenever people see things, like whenever I show my videos where I go get a treatment done at a dermatologist's office, they're always like, oh my God, they put acetone on your face. Oh my goodness, they put alcohol on your face. It's so drying. But you have to remember, this is not something that we're doing on a regular basis every single day. This is something that you're doing occasionally. Today, I'm gonna go in with our BHA Liquid Exfoliant 2%. This has 2% salicylic acid in here, which is actually something I don't use on a regular basis because I have dry skin, but I think it's perfect right before you dermaplane your skin or you shave your face. And the reason for that is because salicylic acid is really great to unclog your pores, to really get rid of that oil residue that you might have on your skin and really just prep your skin for dermaplaning. The other thing that I like about this is it has fruit extracts in here that have natural AHAs in it. So it's a really gentle form of just further brightening and exfoliating your skin and further prepping your skin right before you go in with the dermaplaning. So I'm just gonna put this on a cotton pad, but you can also pat this on your skin just like an essence. Right before I shave my face or dermaplane, I like to use it on a cotton pad just because I'm doing a little bit of a gentle swipe away. So I'm gonna put it mostly in the areas where I get clogged pores, but also around here. You can see I have like, you know, a little bad boy right there that just keeps popping up every time I get my period. It's not fun. It also has a lot of nice hydrating ingredients in here. So I really feel like it helps to just brighten and nourish the skin. Now I'm just gonna let my skin dry a little bit. This isn't something that I would normally do. You know, I'd usually go in with all of my next skincare products to really lock in that hydration, but we're about to dermaplane. So I'm just gonna let this dry down and then we'll get started. And now I'm gonna go in with this from Chic. It is their Hydro Silk Dermaplaning Wand. You've seen me use lots of different brands out there. I just happened to have this one because it was sent to me in PR. And I also really like this handle because it just makes it easier to use. I also really like that it has these replaceable heads, which is always just a benefit because you wanna make sure that you're using a new razor each time you dermaplane, especially since you're doing this at home. You wanna make sure you're not getting any nicks or cuts on your face. And that's one way to basically just assure that you're not going to. You wanna pull your skin taut and then hold the dermaplaning wand in a 45 degree angle and then you're gonna go in short feathery strokes. That's really important. You don't wanna do long strokes because you wanna make sure that you're just being very gentle with your skin. So I'm gonna get up close and I'm gonna show you. I'm 
And you can see I'm going in downward strokes and that's also really important. You can go in upward strokes and you'll see that they do that in office. When you're at home, you wanna make sure you're going in a downward motion just because it's more gentle on your skin. And again, we're trying to be really nice and delicate with our skin, so. And if you have any acne or any kind of irritation, you just wanna make sure that you avoid that area. I have this little bad boy, it's always there. So I'm just gonna avoid it. Oh yeah. You can see that hair just coming off. Ooh, it's hard to see it. It's hard to see it, but look at that. Look at that hair that came off just from that. Let's continue. One of the things that I also really love about this dermaplaning wand is that as you get into these little areas that are a little bit harder, all those little crevices, you can just really get in there and you have very nice control because of the shape of the handle. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna get into like the upper lip area. Again, pull your skin top. I'm gonna move up to my forehead and then I'm done, it's that easy. And just remember, even if you don't feel like you see hair, you still are getting the benefit of gentle exfoliation, so just keep going. I am all done. My skin feels nice and smooth. It feels super soft. I know that all of my skincare products after this will absorb beautifully. I actually use this opportunity to, you know, put on some of my active ingredients. That way they really just absorb nicely and really work more effectively on my skin. I also make sure I nourish my skin. I put a really nice creamy moisturizer on. Sometimes I even put on a face oil after this. Just because my skin is so ready for all of these skincare products to go on and it's gonna feel so nice. I'm gonna wake up with beautiful glowing skin. I personally like to do this at night. That way I don't have to worry about putting on my sunscreen or being out in the sun. You wanna make sure that you're always protecting your skin. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Next up, I want to replenish my skin and give it that hydration because I did let it dry down. So I'm gonna go in with Naturium Niacinamide Essence 3%. I love this stuff. It's so simple to add into your skincare routine. It's super hydrating and you just pat it onto your skin just like that. It just helps prep your skin and get it hydrated all over again before you go in with anything else. So here is where I feel like dermaplaning or shaving your face is really great. Again, I want you to remember that this is something that we're doing occasionally, not on a daily basis. I like to go in with an exfoliant after I have shaved my face because my skin is just nice and prepped. It's exfoliated. It's ready to just absorb all of those next ingredients. So this is my opportunity to get some deep exfoliation in. But I do want to point out, it's really important to know your skin here. Very, very important. This is like the biggest tip I can give you. And this is just a Across the board. You want to know your skin and what ingredients work really well with it and what your skin can handle. I have done this several times before for years, so I know what I can do to my skin. Today I'm going to put on our vegan lactic acid emulsion 5%. This is super gentle, it's really nourishing for the skin, and it's also very hydrating for the skin, which I think a lot of people don't consider. I think a lot of people associate lactic acid with really deeply exfoliating your skin, but formulation really matters when it comes to lactic acid. It matters all the time, of course. But but for lactic acid especially, it can completely change. We formulated this at a pH between four to five, and then we also put in 5% lactic acid in here. So what that means is that you're getting just gentle exfoliation with lots of deep hydration as well. So it's gonna really help with your natural moisturizing factor, which is NMF for short. And what that means is it's gonna help stimulate that natural lipid production in your skin. So if you're like me and you have dry skin, this is a really great way to get that beautiful glow, especially 
especially after you have shaved your face. So I want to show you the texture because it's also super duper creamy. For some people, this is going to be a moisturizer. For me, it's just an emulsion. It's another step and it feels so good. I use this all the time, mostly like every day, but you know, obviously my skincare routine is always changing. I love it that much though. It's so nice and gentle and I feel like my skin is always glowing. I think it's a good time to point out that we also have other exfoliants for your skin. So if you don't want to use lactic acid, maybe you want something a little bit deeper, you have skin that you know can just handle it. We also have our glycolic acid products. This is our glycolic acid resurfacing solution, 8%. And this is more of like a toner, by the way. You can splash it on your face like an essence, or you can put it onto a cotton pad. It also has nice hydrating ingredients in it. So it's really a beautiful, like in the middle exfoliating toner. And then we have this, it's our glycolic acid resurfacing gel, 10%. This is a little bit stronger in my opinion. It's a little bit spicy. This is for people who really love glycolic acid and want to take it to that next level. That's what this is. It's also very hydrating to the skin and you apply it more like a serum. So for people that don't want to, you know, like swipe a cotton pad on their skin, this is a really good option. And like I said, it's at 10%. So it's a little bit stronger. And then if you have more sensitive skin or you're a little bit newer to dermaplaning, you can also go in with this. This is our Mandelic Topical Acid 12%. This is really great because it's an AHA that has a lot of similar properties to salicylic acid, but it's just so much more gentle for your skin because it has a larger molecule. So it's not going to penetrate as deeply. It's also great if you have dark spots. It's great if you have clogged pores, but it's just really gentle. And that's why I like this. We also include niacinamide and other fruit acids in here. So you have lots of brightening and exfoliating happening for your skin when you use this. I also love that it has this nice serum-like texture to it. It's almost like a hybrid of a serum and a essence. It's very light on your skin, so it's easy to layer this with other skincare products. Now, I talked about all these exfoliating products. You saw I put on our BHA before to prep my skin, and then I went in with our lactic acid after that. So that's probably the max, like that's the furthest I'm gonna go because I know my skin and I know that that's where I need to basically pump the brakes. But if you're somebody that has sensitive skin and you are opting for the Mandelic acid, Acid, I would just keep it at that. I wouldn't prep your skin with the BHA. I would just wait till after you are done shaving your face, then go in with something like this and start really slowly with it. Of course, since it's nighttime, if you want to skip the exfoliating products, you can go in with your retinol or even your tretinoin if you're on a prescription. But I like to do that too, even if I started with an exfoliating product to prep my skin. Again, this isn't something that I'm doing on a daily basis. This is something I'm doing like once a month max. So I would go in with one of these. My favorite is our retinol complex cream. I like a nice creamy product and that's what this is. Some people tell me they don't even use a moisturizer after they put this on because it's nice and creamy and just moisturizes your skin beautifully. But if you like a serum better, this one is always a really great option. And that's really the main difference between these is that this is a serum and this is a cream. Like I said, I know my skin, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the retinol tonight, but I will use it again starting tomorrow. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. I'm going to use our Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. It is so beautiful and creamy. It has a perfect amount of plant ceramides in here and other ingredients that are moisturizing and hydrating for your skin to really help replenish it and also support your skin barrier because that's something we definitely want to make sure we do after we shave our faces. It just glides right on and absorbs into your skin beautifully. I love this moisturizer. And look how glowy my skin is. Woo! And then last, I'm gonna go in with our Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. This is one of my favorite products. I use this about like three times a week, especially during the winter time when the heater is on and the climate gets drier. I just use a little bit. It's super creamy. This feels like more of a mask and that is the way you're supposed to use it. It leaves a layer on your skin and then when you wake up in the morning, your skin is nice and nourished and hydrated. And I love to do this after dermaplaning. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that and I am all set. And you can see my skin looks nice and smooth. It is not irritated. It just looks nice and exfoliated. When I put on my makeup tomorrow, it's going to go on really smooth also. So those are the reasons to dermaplane or shave your face at home. Again, I feel like this is the gateway. 
people always end up going and trying this with a professional after they get used to these results because they see that it doesn't do any of the things that they're scared of. Like, you know, there's a myth out there that your, you know, your hair will grow back thicker and darker if you shave your face. It is not true. If anything, you are just, you know, shaving right where your hair is at its thickest. So it might seem like it's coming back thicker and darker just because that's where it's starting to grow. Dermatologists say this all the time. If it did that, then you would see bald men shaving their heads all the time to try to get their hair thicker and darker. It just does not work like that. The second thing is that, you know, it's not painful. It should not be painful. So just make sure that you're doing it the right way. Be very gentle with your skin. Make sure that you're replacing the razors that you're using for your face and just make sure that you're being gentle. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara and I will talk to you soon. I'm going to go to sleep with my nice smooth skin. Thank you.